Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a popover. So if we go to the official Bootstrap website, popover is something like this. If I click this button, you get a little popover and it just provides some extra information. So you provide whatever extra information you want. So that's it. That's really all there is to a popover. There's a few more things, you know, you know that you can change the direction that they come from you can dismiss on click as well and you know you disable elements all of the stuff i'll provide a link to the official bootstrap website so you can actually check all the you know other features out but we'll be covering the you know nuts and bolts of it in here so let's go over and first of all to you know get a pop over we need to implement like something that you would click a button so feel free to check out my button video where I covered the button classes and the button system in Bootstrap. So I'm just going to quickly just go over, you know, just quickly type it out because I've already covered it in a separate video. Okay, so now we need to specify what we're going to toggle. So data dash toggle equals popover and we specify a title and this is going to be epic popover now we need to specify some content and you can put whatever you want so data dash content equals some very epic content and now just put a little thing like so pop over the toggle basically what we're going to display in the button so there we go we got the button if we click on it this pop-up doesn't appear with the title and the content so what we need to actually do is enable our popovers in this case we've only got the one but if you have multiple this would cover that as well so what you do you need to run some javascript you can run it in a separate file or at the bottom whichever you like and we're going to create a variable called popover trigger list popover equals square brackets dot slice dot call document dot query selector all so we're basically just going to check for this is pretty cool we are brackets there square brackets are inside and we're going to check for data dash toggle equals pop over so we're checking for any elements that have this data toggle because chances frankly if it has this then it's pop over if it doesn't then it's not a pop over so now we're gonna you know just get a list of everything so var popover list equals popover trigger list dot map function and popover trigger so this is just going over every single individual trigger and curly brace like so let me just up almost done now we just need to put return new bootstrap dot popover so basically we're just saying if this is clicked you know return this particular popover with popover trigger and this popover trigger you know has all of the title and the data content so if i save that go back reload click it we don't get it so let's make sure we get no errors no errors let me empty cache and hard reload okay still not working okay so i probably just made some spelling mistakes somewhere let's have a look type button good class actually the class doesn't really matter data dash toggle it's looking good pop over title equals epic pop over again the title it shouldn't really affect it then data dash content 
Uh, okay, that's looking all good. So I probably made a little silly mistake here. Var pop over trigger list equals square brackets dot slice dot call open bracket document dot query selector or open brackets quotation mark square brackets data dash toggle equals quotation mark there that's probably it and if i go back there we go i just missed off a you know end quotation mark inside of the quotation mark and that's it that's really all there is to it like i said you can have a look on how to change the direction it comes from dismissing it so we can click off it like so because at the moment we would have to click it again for it to disappear so feel free to check them out and if you have any questions as usual pop me a message you know comment however you know you can get in touch with me let's do that plus there's a discord channel there's a link to that in the, in the description and i look forward to seeing you in the next video